Xin chào, vui mừng bạn đến thành phố Nha Trang. Where are Nha Trang? Welcome to the enchanting coastal paradise of Nha Trang, Vietnam, where pristine beaches meet Asian temples, vibrant nightlife, and mouth-watering seafood. Nha Trang is a coastal city and the capital of Hanhua province, nestled along the shores of the South China Sea. We stayed at Ariana Smart Condo Hotel. It's located at the city center, so you're close to almost everything. The condo hotel gives you the best of the condo and hotel experience. Spacious room with hotel's facilities. to show you what you can do and see around Nha Trang. Nha Trang Beach runs about 7 kilometers long, forming a soft curve that embraces the city with an array of bars, restaurants, and hotels. China Market is small, about 250 meters long, located in the middle of Nichang City, selling souvenirs, clothes, and dry food. Open 6 a.m. and close 11 p.m. We didn't find the marketing that exciting. They sell almost the same products in every other market in Vietnam. So we took a ride in a cyclo around Nichang Center. Cyclo, invented by the French in the early 19th century, is a modified three-wheeled bicycle. The nostalgia feeling hit me instantly. If you ever get the chance, it's something you should definitely try. Since Cyclo are totally forbidden in some provinces in Vietnam, like Saigon, due to traffic obstruction. Another market you can visit is Cha Dam. Cha Dam, or Dam Market, is located 2 km from the center of Nha Trang City. This market sells almost the same souvenirs, clothes, dry food as the night market. They also sell food inside and outside the market. We decided to try Van Sale, which is a crispy, stuffed savory rice pancake. Van Sale was incredible cheap and delicious. They sold them for 10k a piece. And our rating, 8 out of 10. Right by the entrance of Chadam, they sold Mi Huan Tan or Wonton noodles. The broth was clear and tasty, and the noodles were perfectly chewy. Our rating 9 out of 10. And the owners also took care of Baby Sky while we were eating. Ponagard Cham Tower are one of the most attractive destinations to visit in Yajang. It is a complex of Champa relics dating from the 7th to 13th centuries. At that time, the Champa kingdom was flourishing and Hinduism was still worshipped here. In the language of Cham people, the word Ponagar means the mother of the country.
Jiu Longsun or Longsun Pagoda is known as the oldest temple in Yecheng. In the front of the entrance to the great temple is a stone board with delicate mosaic dragon. On the right side of the main temple, stepping 44 staircases is home to the Admiral statue of Buddha in Nirvana. The background of the statue depicts a converge of 49 disciples chanting when Buddha passed away. Up on about 10 steps is the bell towering, having the 1900 kilo bell called Dai Hong Chung, which was an offering by the Hue Buddhist in 2002. After climbing 193 steps to the mountaintop, you were able to see the giant white Buddha. The 24 meter tall Buddha sitting on a lotus throne, preaching with his decent smile. Nyachang Cathedral is a beautiful classic European style church in Nyachang. It's one of the famous architectural work in the heart of the city. Towering 12 meters high, the stone church of Nyacheng has a total area of more than 700 square meters. We joined a day tour to travel between islands in Yajang. We found that was the most convenient way to island hop. Pick up and drop off, boat ride, entrance ticket and lunch was included in the ticket. We only paid 600k per person for this trip. First stop is Bai Chan, a famous tourist spot in Yachang Bay with beautiful Pebble Beach. Bai Chan is a beach located in Miu Island. There is also a water sports center with many activities such as parachute, jet ski, banana float, sea walk and flyboard. Why if we try the jet ski and we paid 600k? I tried the Sea Walker experience, and for this we had to pay 800k. The experience lasts about 15 minutes of walking on the seabed, and there's a lot of colorful and diverse coral reef and fishes to see. The second stop was to a fishing village, blowing houses that raised many different types of seafood such as fish, nails and lobsters. This is here we ate our lunch, and you can choose to add seafood and let the restaurant prepare and enjoy it fresh on the spot. We decided to try the lobster. They grill the lobster and serve it with fried garlic. 
we paid 1.8 million for two lobsters. Our last stop was to Hontam Island. The island is the largest mineral mud bathing complex in Vietnam. Tam Bun Hon Tam is within the Mer Pearl Resort. The main attraction is the mud bath, but there's also a large pool for you to enjoy. If you want to enjoy the view or have a drink by the beach, the sailing club is the place to be, but it is a bit expensive compared to other places. For sky bar experience, we recommend to go to the altitude rooftop bar at Sheraton Hotel. It is, first of all, free entrance and less crowded. Wind Wonders Nha Chang, formerly Winterland, is located on Hon Che Island. Wind Wonders Nha Chang is a huge theme park. The theme park features a water park, flower garden, aquarium, zoo, and lots of other activities. We mainly focused on the zoo. To get there, you have to either take a cable car, canoe, or high speed boat. The cable car was under maintenance during our trip. You can buy food to feed the giraffe, we paid 10k for a small bucket of vegetables. There's also a huge water park here, perfect place to be if you have kids. The World Garden have different teams garden, we just took a quick round. We got our dose of flour in Dalat, so this was not the most exciting thing for us to do here. And it got really hot here as well. Since it was really hot outside, we decided to check out the aquarium and to cool ourselves down.
There are some few food and beverage stores in Wind Wonder, but we went for the places with AC. We had lunch at Lotteria, a Korean fast food chain. The food was actually included in our entrance ticket. We got a food voucher worth 300k and it was enough to get this meal. I had bad memories of Lotteria in the past, but this time the food was really good. Our rating, 9 out of 10. We decided to accommodate one night at Wind Pearl Resort in Yajang. We found out that was the most convenient for Baby Sky. After we were done with Wind Wonders, we headed for one of the exits and the crew called a car to pick us up to the hotel. Relaxing at the huge outdoor pool after a long day at Wind Wonders was absolutely perfect. Hotel breakfast at Wind Pearl Resort in Yachang is one of the best hotel breakfasts we tried during our trip. And of course, we're gonna show you what we ate and what you must try in Yachang. Ha Konga, maybe one of the famous restaurants in Yachang. Famous for its chicken rice and it was one of the best chicken rice we ever tried. I ordered a fried drumstick and wifey opted for the original shredded chicken rice. We also added gai ga or chicken salad. The chicken rice dish also comes with chicken broth soup with egg. The rice was fragrant and the combination with pickled vegetables and the chicken butter was incredible. This place is highly recommended and our rating 10 out of 10. Just across the street, you find another chicken and rice restaurant. It got good review, so we wanted to try them as well. The dishes was good, but not good as the, the previous place. Our rating, 7 out of 10. Bankan is a dish you have to try in Yajang. Bankan is a savory pancake made with a thin rice flour batter. They are cooked on an outdoor grill, which are equipped with a specialized terracotta bankan mold. The mixture is poured into the mold, and the pancake is then topped with a whole shrimp or scallions or other type of toppings. In this restaurant, they serve toppings like tiger prawns, squid, clams, beef, pork, and quail egg. rating 10 out of 10 especially the one with the clam topping another specialty you have to try is nemnu which is fermented pork roll that grilled on coal usually served with pickled green papaya and herbs and wrapped in rice paper and dipped in sweet and spicy fish sauce 
this is a must try dish a rating 9 out of 10. For a taste of authentic Vietnam, Nha Trang Sua is a classic Vietnamese restaurant set in a traditional house in the countryside, surrounded by rice paddies and lotus pond. Food was very delicious and the view was beautiful. A rating 7 out of 10. And if you want some western option, we got you covered. At Nha Chang Center, there's a few options with fast food. We went for Texas chicken since it was cheaper than KFC and tasted really good too. A rating 8 out of 10. Another western option, Pizza for Peace, it's a pizza chain restaurant in Vietnam. They serve freshly made pizza baked in stone oven. The pizza was okay, our bun was a bit soggy, but tasty. Our rating, 6 out of 10. This is not a western option, but a good alternative too. Heidi Lau, the famous hot pot chain restaurant, is located at Nha Chang Center. The food was good, but it's a bit pricey compared to what you can get around here. So our rating is 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you guys on our next adventure.